Kia ora, my name is Antonio Vicelli. I'm a lecturer in French Studies and convener of the Master of Applied Translation and Interpreting. It is a professional degree in translation and interpreting, as its name suggests, and it is destined for students who are pursuing specific languages that we teach in the Department of Global Cultural and Language Studies. And those include French, Spanish, German, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, and Te Reo Māori. Our degree covers many things related to both translation and interpreting. Um, we cover the ethics of uh, translation and interpreting. We also um, focus very much on both the local and the global. Um, as we work in international languages, it's only um, natural that we focus on uh, international relations, intercultural communication. Um, we focus on um, internships uh, through the PACE program here at the University of Canterbury, that's professional and community engagement. So students can uh, put their uh, degree into practice um, quite, um, quite naturally. Um, but we also have a study abroad component that is embedded into the program as well. So in the second semester, students have the opportunity to study abroad with one of our partner institutions to both work on the proficiency in the specific language that they're, they're studying, but also to focus specifically on translation and interpreting. We are still currently developing a few opportunities for, for internships, but some students are placed directly with translation agencies. So they'll be job shadowing some translators, working on translations as well. Um, some prefer to work a bit more in an environment where they're just more immersed in the foreign language. So they're furthering their proficiency, uh, their written um, uh, listening and speaking skills in the language as well. So we have cultural agencies. We have, for example, Interpreting New Zealand with whom we work um, and other language specific translation agencies that um, can place our students. Many people are eligible for this course. We have students, for example, who will enroll in MATI who have done a Bachelor of Arts um, and have majored in a language. We accept students who have completed a degree, an undergraduate degree, and can demonstrate proficiency in one of the languages that we teach in. But we also accept students who have more of a professional background. So those, for example, who are coming from industry, who have some translation or interpreting experience and who would like to um, complete a postgraduate degree with us. The prerequisite is that students have a B plus average, at least at the, the equivalent of the 300 level papers. Students can take anywhere between 12 and 18 months if they're full-time students, and there is the opportunity to study part-time as well. It does depend on if students choose the pathway which is either UC only, where they're completing their entire degree here at the University of Canterbury, or if they've chosen to go abroad for a semester too. So it needs to align a bit with our partner institutions either in Europe or East Asia. We really focus on both the local and the global. So we have this bicultural competence and confidence really built into our degree, but also the global, globally aware individual um, in a MATI uh, degree. We focus on uh, translation and interpreting in times of crisis, and Christchurch unfortunately knows crisis very well. We are the only South Island degree uh, that offers a master in applied translation and interpreting. We have two pathways as well. Uh, we have a UC-only pathway where students can study entirely in our institution or a study abroad component. And regardless of which pathway students choose, they can either um, complete their master's degree and move on to work immediately, or they can choose to pursue a PhD as well. So there's a research pathway as well as a terminal degree pathway. <laughs>